Hello Internet, welcome to Lex Universe. So, uh, first of all, I'm feeling like shit, but uh, it's about Christmas, not really, but uh, we are closing in. And as you can see, Prague Airport, and today we are traveling to Venice in Italy. And yeah, I hope you will enjoy it. I definitely will because um, yeah, everything is better than Central Europe in winter. So let's go. So do you remember the days where there was like this pandemic and nobody was flying? I really enjoyed this. Like, look, it's awful. I hate people. I'm sorry. Now, I I love you. Please subscribe. But still, you know, these crowds is annoying. So nuts. Now let's go to the basement. So that's a gate. It's almost nobody there. Let's go. So we have arrived. Let's find uh, probably this thing, and we will travel to the city because we are now in Treviso. It's a little bit further from Venice. So as you can see, I managed to find the the bus. It costs 12 euro to go there and 22 euro for the return ticket, which is not the cheapest one. But, well, you have other options. You can go to Mestre and then transfer to the train or to go to, um, you know, Treviso and then uh, exchange for the train. But, you know, I know me, I'm lazy. I just want to go the direct line. We are here. It took only one hour. It was actually, it was actually longer than the flight. It's absurd. But anyway, we are here. We are happy. The weather is great, uh, considering it's almost Christmas. So let's explore Venice. Now it becomes real. The first canals. So let's check out the prices of the gondola rides. Yeah, they better don't say, obviously, because it's probably really expensive. So I'll ask you now, have you ever been on one of these? How much does it cost? I have no idea. You know, there are many people all around the world that will tell you that this place is extremely overrated. I totally disagree. I just love the atmosphere of Venice and the architecture and everything. It's beautiful. So let's enjoy it. I still don't get it. Like, imagine that you are someone, you come to this lagoon and you say, Oh, that's cool. Let's make wooden sticks and build a city on them. That's crazy. But I guess that's what makes this city one of a kind. We find us, we found some plaza. 
Actually, I had no idea there were such large public spaces here. But today I chose that we... Oh, don't worry, we will visit some of the main sites, but I just want to explore some of the more laid-back areas of Venice. What do you think? Sounds interesting? And now, as you leave the most exposed places, there's nobody here. Which is something that you don't usually see in Venice, do you? Okay, this is interesting. Look, we found a church. And unfortunately with it, a lot of evil. You know, think what you will, but Italy is simply beautiful. And now we've reached the Canal Grande, the main artery of the city. And as you can see, it really is Grande. I think there are like four bridges across the Gra Canal Grande. This is the newest one. As you can see, it doesn't really play well with the architecture surrounding it. But I'm usually really all for combining the modern and traditional architecture, so I don't mind it. It's one beautiful church. And over there, as you can see, this is the main railway station. This is where you would arrive if you come to Venice by a train. <laughs> see there are quite a lot of stairs in the whole city. And obviously because we are in Italy, another church. I have a feeling this one is aggressive. Well, as you can see, a lot more people here. I don't hate it at all. You know, I just found out that just getting from the point A to point, point B is extremely complicated here. Because the streets will always try to force you into another direction and now we are trying to get to San Marco Plaza and it's still forcing us to go north instead of south. Frustrating. Honestly, this is this is totally crazy. I really have no idea where we are and how to get where we want to go. As you can see, we are closing in on Ponte di Rialto, which is the most famous bridge here in Venice. And this is where we are trying to get. We are fucking here! I still can't believe that we have made it because it's really little grim, but um, there we are! So there is the Basilica of San Marco, the bell tower, and as you can see, it's closed up space all around. This is totally insane. Can you see the queues? Look at them. Well, now we're taking a boat, like this, um, what they call it, water bus, Vaporetto, and uh, we are going to the island of Lido, but I hate boats. I oh, <laughs> But as you can see, the sun is sitting above Venice. How better experience Venice 
happen on the boat during the sunset. I hope you enjoy it. Well, do you enjoy seaside as much as I do? This is great, right? Sometimes I really love my life. See, I thought it might be one of the videos where I don't drink. But on, on a beach, what else am I supposed to do? As you can see, it's Christmas time. As you noticed, we are accommodated on a different island and we had to receive a map how to get, as you can see it, how to get to our room because there are several buildings. And this whole hotel is actually, uh, this whole island is actually our hotel. It's cool. And now, let me show you the accommodation. Uh, I think we are going in the right direction. The doors are a bit confusing. Okay, not like that. And this is our room, as you can see, we have here we can sleep, we can watch TV. We'll start some codes. This is me once again. And it's the bathroom. Pretty standard. I think we will have a nice view of the sea in the morning. As you can see, there are Christmas lights everywhere. <laughs> so we are trying to find a restaurant that is not full. Kind of that starts to remind me of Budapest. If you haven't seen the video, go click on it in the upper right corner. And when you watch it, you will see that it didn't work out very well. Honestly, I really prefer this. There are a lot less people here. And as the city of Venice is going to sleep, so are we. But we still have to wait for our water bus because uh, it only goes once per hour. One of the disadvantages to live on another island. Good morning, sunshine. You know, there is something very satisfactory on hotel breakfast. Seems to be a lot of more islands than just Venice here in the lagoon. Actually, one of the coolest accommodations we've ever had. See, there's the island of Lido. We were there in, we were there yesterday, and there are some other islands here. I don't think we can see Venice, but to be honest, if you want to have some interesting accommodation here in Venice, I really do recommend this San Servolo Island. It's a bit pricier, but and unfortunately a little bit inconvenient because you have to use the boat all the time but uh, if you <coughs> but if you buy the day ticket it costs uh, 25 euro and the two days pass for 35 euros so if you're here for a longer time i can save some money on the transportation it's also very useful if you're going inside venice because um you know like i said it's kind of amazing so um, I really recommend this accommodation because it's really beautiful, peaceful and it's nice to get out, out of the overpopulated Venice. Oh, see, here you can see Venice in the distance.
Can you see it? It's only one rail. And we are back at Treviso International Airport and I'm ending the video. I hope you enjoyed the trip to Venice. I really did. I was really surprised. I have already been here, but today it was really like relaxing, really peaceful, and the atmosphere here was really good. I hope you enjoyed it as well. Merry Christmas to everyone and I will see you in the next video. Bye.